the uncertainty and the, you know, the embarrassment is great. I feel that my privacy and dignity were taken away. Well, as you just heard, she says it was an invasion of privacy at a place you'd never expect it. A young couple says their intimate photos were swiped at a car dealership and then sent to a swingers website. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers is live in Grapevine with the story. Brooke. While the couple's attorneys filed a lawsuit today, they walked into this dealership to buy a car and left with their private photos in cyberspace. They were pictures meant only for them. I never imagined that anyone else would see it. And Claire and Tim Gotro never imagined the two naked pictures of her would be sent to an email associated with swingers, allegedly by a sales employee of Texas Toyota in Grapevine. It happened nearly two years ago when the couple was about to buy a car here. Tim Gotro had downloaded an app on his phone for pre approved financing. The salesperson asked to see the application on the phone and then told Tim and Claire that he needed to show the phone to his manager to get the financing approved. In the five minutes the phone was out of sight, they say new car sales director Matt Thomas found the old pictures and emailed them to himself and to the Swingers website. Tim Gotro discovered it through an app that tracks deleted emails. This private moment that was intended to remind us of our happiness together was ripped away and replaced with fear and uncertainty. The Gotros say the Toyota dealership denied that Thomas worked there. Their attorneys say Texas Toyota has never responded to them. Thomas is now facing criminal charges for breach of computer security, and the Gotros have filed a civil lawsuit. For Tim, a pastor in Frisco, and Claire, who is expecting their first baby, they hope they can spare others their pain. I feel that my privacy and dignity were taken away, and I want to make sure that it does not happen to anyone else. And we reached out to this dealership, the parent company, and Toyota North America for comment. As of now, we have not received a response. Reporting live in Grapevine, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.